All right, two weeks from now, kids in western New York will already be back in school or they'll be just a day away. And yet another district is starting the school year with a new policy on cell phones. Holland Central Schools announcing in this letter that a bell to bell phone free environment will kick in. That means devices will have to be off and stored away in students lockers for the entire school day. A lot of other districts are either instituting these bans or considering them, though the governor has argued that we need a statewide policy, some uniformity. She's been on a tour across New York listening to stakeholders. On this show, we've heard from school administrators, from students and parents. Tonight, another key voice in all of this, teachers. Melinda Person is president of the New York State United Teachers, or NYSET, which represents 600,000 educators and other professionals in our schools, and she joins me live here tonight. Thank you so much for coming on. I know that you're out of town right now. What is sort of NYSET's position, and what are you hearing from, again, hundreds of thousands of educators across the state about how big a problem this is and how we go about solving it? Well, thanks for having me, Michael. Um, when I travel around the state and visit classrooms from the elementary, middle, and high school level, one of the most common complaints that I hear from our membership, our educators, is that there are so many distractions in our classrooms these days. And even when we have district policies that kids have to keep their phones in their pocket or that they go in a pouch, that they spend a whole lot of the day thinking about and obsessing over getting back to their phone, or as soon as they the bell rings, they quickly are in the hallway staring at their phone. Um, phones are, of course, necessary in life today, but school environments are places of learning. And we've seen that phones, earbuds, watches, all of those types of things really detract from learning. And so we've been in conversation with the governor, with the PTA, with school boards and other education leaders to talk about what we can do about that. What about this idea of local control and some who believe, you know what, one district may want to go one way and another district may want to go another. Do you believe that's the right approach or do you think we need this sort of statewide rule and that it sort of applies to everybody? I think local control is always important, but on this issue, I think we do need some statewide leadership. The research has shown that the impact of social media and the lack of focus that we're seeing in our students in our classrooms is having a real impact on schools. And so we need the state to come in and give us some guidance. There will, of course, need to be local discretion and local decision-making in terms of how it's implemented, but we definitely need leadership from someone like the governor to come in and help with this issue. Finally, one of the arguments that I thought was pretty persuasive that I've heard from some parents who are against bans like these is sadly we have school shootings that happen way more often than than we can even fathom right and what if you're in a situation in which a student for an emergency reason like that needs to get in touch with their parents or needs to get in touch with authorities how do you respond to that concern i've heard from parents mm -hmm. I'm extremely sympathetic as a parent of four public school children in New York State today. Um, it is scary to see what's been happening in the news and violent incidents at schools and the lockdowns and such. But what really persuaded me as a parent was hearing from law enforcement. If you ask law enforcement about kids with cell phones in schools during an emergency, what they will tell you is that having a phone actually is more dangerous for your child. It makes it more likely that something will happen to them. And in a lockdown situation, the last thing you need is to have 20 kids all distracted and on their phones, they need to be focused on listening to the adult in charge and following instructions. So once I heard that argument as a parent, I understood that this is actually what will help keep my child safe in an emergency. It is great to get your perspective on this. Melinda Person, president of NYSET, the New York State United Teachers. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me.